Number one question people always ask me is what is in your camera bag? But most importantly, what is in your travel camera bag? Because as you guys know, we travel a lot and it can be really hard to choose what is the best and most important piece of gear to bring with you on that trip because you don't want to bring everything necessarily. So that's what we're going to talk about today. But first, dog sledding. Dog sledding was awesome, but now we're just going for a bit of a hike in Johnson's Canyons. Probably the most important thing about your camera bag is the bag that's actually holding everything together. So I actually own two bags from Atlas. Two. Can't see through my gloves, but there's two of them. Today I have the larger one out and it is called the Adventure Bag. I do own the smaller one as well and it's called the Athlete, but today I just have more stuff, so I'm carrying the bigger one. Also, the second most important thing about my camera bag is probably the camera I'm shooting with, and I shoot with the Sony A7 III. Let's keep going. I never go on any trip without is my DJI Mavic Air because I love that perspective from top down or just from the sky. Aerials are amazing and what I love about the Air is it's super compact and I can fit it into a backpack or even a purse if that's all I have that day. The other thing that I actually brought on this trip for the very first time is my Insta360 One. So this is the first time I brought it on this trip but I actually brought it in our helicopter ride the other day and it was super super cool. So what I love about both of these items is you can just get totally different perspectives that you can't get with your DSLR. What you all want to hear about gearheads, this is for you, so camera lenses. I always, always travel with my G Master 24 to 70 lens, but the greatest part about traveling with your significant other, especially if he is a larger boy than I am, he carries the majority of the lenses. So in his camera bag, he has a 12 to 24, a 16 to 35, and a 100 to 400, which is super key, especially when you're trying to get shots of different animals. So that's probably my second favorite lens, but I would definitely recommend the 24 to 70 because it's just a good multi-purpose lens. And that brings us to audio. So I absolutely love my Rode VideoMic Pro Plus because you cannot put a price on not having to remember to turn that mic on and off. And again, super compact, sits right on top of my camera. The next items I always bring are filters. So I have a UV filter, a polarizing filter, and a D filter. So all of my filters are from Gobe. And what I absolutely love about them is they actually already come in their own cases. And the ND filters specifically actually all screw into each other, all kept together, and I think they're great. Okay, two more pieces of super portable gear that I love taking with me when I travel is my Joby Gorilla Pod. It's super small and super flexible, so you can wrap it around anything, and it's its own little tripod if you need one and you don't have a full-size one. I also always bring my RX105 because, again, super small camera, super compact, so if you're going somewhere where you can't necessarily bring your larger DSLR, you can throw this baby in your pocket and you're good to go. A couple of smaller items I always keep with me are lens cleaner, a lens cleaning cloth, two lacy hard drives, about one terabyte, just to keep everything I need on that particular trip handy, and last but not least, a little crystal, just to make my photos a little bit different, to separate them from amongst the rest, and it's really small so I can keep it in my pocket too. Also, there's a really cool half-frozen waterfall behind me. Okay, back at home editing this video in my traditional editing outfit, as you can see. But if you guys want a better understanding of how to use some of this gear, I highly recommend heading over to Skillshare. They are sponsoring this video, and they also have over 25,000 classes in photography and design and even more. Even my girl Sarah Dietschy has a couple of her own videos on how to vlog. Their premium membership gives you access to whatever you want, so maybe a subject that suits some of your New Year's goals. Skillshare is also super affordable. Their annual membership is less than $10 a month, and since you know more than 7 million other creators are using it, maybe you want to give it a try. The first 500 of you guys that click the link in the description box below will get a two-month free trial of Skillshare and that's all guys thank you guys so much for watching this video if you liked it please give it a like down below subscribe if you're not already and hit the bell to get notified when I post a new video and now I'm gonna go to bed <laughs> Skillshare has tons of different kinds of videos, like how to use a 360 camera, how to use your camera in manual mode, how to get a guy to fall in love with you, how to get a guy to propose to you, how to make Chris Howe live with you. <laughs> <laughs>
What a troll. Why do I even <laughs> film her videos? Okay, bye.